core values of this nation, our standing in the world, our very democracy, everything that has made America, America is at stake. That's why today I'm announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. From the minute Joe Biden sets foot onto the campaign trail, he is the person to beat. The question is whether one of these 19 other candidates emerges as his chief adversary or whether his biggest obstacle will be Joe Biden himself. The Taoiseach knows a lot about it. His mom uh, lived in, uh, in Long Island for 10 years or so. Uh, God rest her soul. And uh, um, although she's, wait, your mom's still, your mom's still alive as your dad passed. God bless her soul. He is now the front runner because he is a household name. They put one foot in front of the other. They keep going. That's the unbreakable spirit of the people of America. And also he That's brings a much broader set of policy experiences to the table than really any other candidate. I yeah. believe we have so botched this policy so botch the opportunities to move on the Sandinista government. The SNL scandal, we need not tell anyone, is the biggest white collar ripoff uh, in this nation's history. Judge, if I look only at what you've said and written as used to happen in the past, I would have to vote no. For all the respect that he is given as the elder statesman, if you look back at Joe Biden's previous races, his 1988 bid flamed out in the middle of a plagiarism scandal. In 2008, he won exactly 4% of the vote in the Iowa caucuses. There is a lack of message discipline. The next vice president of the United States of America Joe Biden! I remember in the 2008 campaign, after the Obama team put him on the ticket, at a fundraiser late in the campaign, he went so far as to apocalyptically almost predict there would be a major international crisis. This was one of those moments tailor-made for a Saturday Night Live parody. Mark my words! If you take away nothing else from what I say here today, or indeed in this entire campaign, remember this. If Barack Obama is elected, we will have a crisis. There are some episodes that he is gonna to have to explain in greater detail. His handling of the Senate Judiciary Committee and its treatment of Anita Hill. In recent months, we saw a bunch of incidents unearthed where he made women uncomfortable. He is, in his own words, a very tactile guy. You know, social norms have begun to change, they've shifted, and the boundaries of protecting personal space have been reset. And I get it. I get it. But then, within a day or two, he was joking about it. I just want you to know I had permission to hug Lonnie. I mean, yeah. <laughs> which really made people wonder, did he really get the message? The question is whether Biden can really adapt to what politics is, what politics has become. It's not so much that he will seem old, but that he runs the danger of seeming as though he is a politician of a different era. We have to remember who we are. This is America. 